back in December 22, the government of Hong Kong had eased some COVID restrictions, so Eric and I decided to go visit Hong Kong again. I'm from Hong Kong, but Eric is not, so it was very exciting for us to travel around to show him my home. When we landed, we still have to do a COVID test and have masks on at all times, but I believe now you don't have to do the on arrival COVID test anymore. 24 hours later, <laughs> finally made it. Ah, the feeling of home. Honestly, when I arrive in the Hong Kong airport, it always just feels so special to me. Transportation from the airport or around the city is so convenient. There are taxis, minivans, buses, and also subways that connect you to every single spot you need to go to. My mom picked us up from the airport and we took the bus back straight from the airport. The first stop is my favorite fish balls with noodles, also beef briskets, just so delicious. It's the ultimate comfort food. It's literally perfect for after a 24 hour flight. Lobby's nice though. Hey everyone, it's currently 6.50 and uh, we're heading to the Symphony of the Lights, which is a huge light show in Hong Kong at 8 p.m. today. Mm -hmm. We thought before we head there, we would grab a snack and uh, Rachel's holding snacks. We just got rice balls. Rice balls. I got shrimp tempura inside and Rachel got some nice tuna inside. Yep. We've arrived at the harbor front near our hotel. It took us about 10 minutes to walk here. Mm -hmm. So this is like the Dim Sa Jui side. Um, so we're waiting for the Symphony of Lights, which is gonna happen at 8 o'clock. Pretty much you're gonna see all these um, buildings shining lights and doing a little dance. Yeah. It's gonna be really cool. It's already quite pretty as it is without the dancing lights. Last time we were here four years ago, it was super packed. So yeah. we came really early this time, but I think because it's still COVID restrictions, there's less tours. Yeah. So we overshot it a little bit, but it's cool. We'll just uh, chill here, it's enjoy a, the breeze, Yeah. enjoy our snack. It's a really nice walk here. So it's like a really long walk where you can just like enjoy the night view. So it's a great place to come and visit. Yep. Look at that. That's so sick. Just wanted to switch to the uh, front camera to show you guys, I mean back camera, how nice it looks right now. Yeah, for real. Wow. Hey, look at that boat right there. It's like that traditional, like... Sailboat? Mm-hmm. That's mm -hmm. the Hong Kong side. Hong Kong Island side. Where, like, the financial district and everything. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm just gonna wing this. We just had our room clean today and uh, we have a couple hours to kill before we head out for lunch. So we thought we'd do a little room tour for everyone to see what $150 gets you in Hong Kong. 150 USD? Cad. Uh, oh, maybe like 120 USD then. Oh it's uh, 900 per night Hong Kong dollars. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right. So it's a pretty small place, but it's pretty modern, modern and uh, everything we need it's here so what, once you walk in it's you're literally in the washroom because the shower there's a bathtub in here on the left and then your sink is on the right do you want to show the privacy mode this, the strange part is right now we can see everything you can see the showers you can see the uh toilet but so you can close the blinds to have your privacy and uh take a bath or shower or you can close it yeah and then it's for you to 
to sleep here. TV. Um, the teas are here. They have TWG, which is amazing. And then, wait for you to work here, and you need to do a little bit of work. And this is our view. At first, they gave us a really bad view of like a haunted building, and we asked for a better view, and this is what gave us was what they gave us which is pretty cool. The Ritz Carlton is right in front of us, that tall building, which we're, um, we're gonna be staying there for one night. That part ocean view, you see that? <laughs> that part ocean view right there. Spoken <laughs> like a true realtor. <laughs> would you rate it based on the price? The room? Mm -hmm. Honestly, I would rate it at eight out of 10, just because it's like so cheap considering it's Hong Kong, but obviously because there's still like restrictions and stuff. So if you come like later on, I feel like the price is definitely gonna go up. Mm -hmm. So it's good for what it is right now. All right, so let's uh, I'm gonna eat my breakfast now. All right, see, time for Rachel to give an honest review of this uh, cake. Mm. I love sponge cake, it's like a staple Hong Kong style cake. So good, I just love like. Mm, so soft. Let's give it a try. Not very sweet. Just the way you like it. Mm -hmm. okay. We're now at the bus station. Going to the Element Mall. I love these uh, double decker buses. So, hopefully, we get the front spot and get a good view. We're now at M Plus. This is a very cool, nice, modern, uh, I don't know, museum, art space. art space area. And there's a bunch of uh, people getting married and taking photo shoots here. Yeah, so there's like a museum, I don't know what it's called. It's like Hong Kong from the 1960s to now. So we're gonna go check it out. Um, the price to go in is 120 Hong Kong dollars. So it's about 20. 20 USD. Canadian. Canadian? Yeah, 15 USD. <laughs> yeah, so. Um, we're like near the harbor, so it's really pretty here as well. Very nice view. This is our ticket for the museum. Red this egg, so. Are you enjoying yourself? Rachel's not feeling it today. A little tired. Stomach's hurting a little bit. Wow, look at that. Oozing up. Give it a try. See how you like it. Morning, everyone. Today's Saturday and I have the day off. We're uh, up bright and early to go to this wet market which has a hidden section of food court behind it. It's quite cool. 
we were supposed to go yesterday but then um something happened we didn't end up going so we're gonna go today yeah let's cross the street real quick oh no we missed it so this is the unassuming entrance walk in fruits and vegetables Saute beef noodle. This is what my mom recommended. So pretty much you can pick. So this is the breakfast menu. You can pick one, um, one of each. Uh, one of each. A, B, C. So I got this, okay. this, and this. My food has arrived. So this is the saute um, beef noodle soup. It's like a really staple Hong Kong breakfast item. And then it comes with the toast, the egg, and the you can pick the meat and stuff. And then we also got a uh, Cantonese milk tea. Hong Kong milk tea, I guess. So it's $34, Hong Kong dollars, per set. And after um, 11.30, it's $43. So it's under $5 USD per person. Yeah, I'm gonna try it a little bit. I'm gonna mix it a little. So we're now walking to the Star Ferry Terminal Harbor. We're going towards the central side, which is across from us. So we're gonna take the ferry over there. It's cheaper and faster to take the ferry than the subway. Welcome to Lama Island. We're here. We made it. We made it to Lama Island. Lots of beaches. Lots of seafood. I didn't get that part when Rachel said it. But lots of seafood, lots of beaches. What else? Lots of little boats. Lots of wind. I love the aesthetics of this area. Very nice. Oh. 
唔夠錢啲咯。唔該，姐。行啊，哥。Grab a nice spot with some shade. Mm. Yeah, I saw this on Google Maps. Tofu flowers. Tofu pudding. Hopefully, it's nice and cool. Try it. All right, first bites, first impression. This is fifteen dollars, right? Mm -hmm. Which is like two dollars USD. Mm, very smooth. Yeah. My turn. Hmm. Hmm. Nice and cool, relaxing. After refueling with uh, that bowl of tofu flour slash uh, dessert, we've made it to the beach. Highland life. I think we should go touch the water to see what temperature it is. Beach is very calm. Nice. Don't jump in the water? No. How oh, careful you're being. Next stop, the lookout points. Jump, 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 jump. <laughs> jump, jump to it. Jump. <laughs> That's how you do a jump, Rachel. Can't keep up. <laughs> Just recording to show your calves. I don't like these hikes. It's not a hike. This is not a hike. It's, it's called a slight walk. I'm wearing skirts. Come on, show off those calves. Flex them. Rachel, rate this. Uh, rate this hike. See the end in sight. Just to show y'all where we came from. So we were just at the beach down there, right here. So if I zoom in, yeah. Wow, look at this view. That looks like a very secluded private beach that no one can get to. See some yachts down there. See people wakeboarding. And there's the power plant. How do you feel about this view? Like the nature set of Hong Kong. Mm -hmm. Many people don't come here for this kind of stuff, right? Yeah. They don't even realize Hong Kong has these uh, things to offer. What do you like going more? Uphill or downhill? Downhill. I hate uphill. <sighs> Show the fishing village right here. I'm gonna eat over there soon. Time to eat before going back to Central. Rachel found this uh, restaurant on Google Maps and it looks pretty poppin' so gonna give it a try. Hopefully there's no line. Wait to sit down. Ooh, that's nice, yeah. So we're sitting on the pier. Let's find a place with uh, some shade. I think all of them are the same, right? Okay, sounds good. This one's good. Nice breeze. Here's our view. Ah, nice. A little chilly now. Our food has arrived. We have um, squid. So these are small portions. They have like small, medium, large. And we got the small portion of a squid. And then this is market price. Um, half a kilogram of shrimp. So Steamed. Yeah. And then we're waiting for the clams coming. 
we are we have the best spot right now. We're sitting literally right beside the ocean. Taste test. <laughs> Yum. So good. The last dish has arrived. This is actually my favorite. Fresh plan. Mm, so good. good. Nice. Fresh clams. Look how delicious this looks. Let's uh, let it fall. Oh yeah, there you go. I wish I could, the camera can smell it, but it smells delicious. Yeah. Everything is so fresh. Look how big. That's fine. Yum. So happy. <laughs> Caribbean. Just finished the food. Eight out of ten. Great view. Great food. Decent prices. Yeah. The bill came out to uh, three hundred seventy-nine Hong Kong dollars, which is around sixty fifty USD. So pretty good. Now we're heading back to the pier to uh, catch the boat back to Central. Yeah. We're now headed to the tram on the way to Victoria Peak. Today's the visibility is great and we want to take advantage of uh, such a beautiful day like this to get a good view of the sunset and Hong Kong skyline. So yeah, we were here four years ago and we went up and we saw absolutely nothing but clouds. Yeah, it was really foggy. Oh, this is a nice environment here. Look how nice the environment is here. I just love waterfalls even though it's if they're uh, man-made. But it just sounds so relaxing. I don't know if the bird's chirping is even real, but <laughs> sounds good to me. Very nice. Oh. Made it to the station and it's so different from four years ago. It was completely packed. There were uh, lines for hours. And this is why you prepay uh, for our tickets. Look how much time we save. VIP straight to the front. different. I just remember the experience very different because we were lining up the whole time. Peak at the what the world? The peak of the peak. Wow, oh my god, so clear. Where you go, we literally couldn't see a single building. <laughs> Check out the views. We got the best spot in the house. This is the spot. We're at the peak. We already said that. And there's no crowds here. Oh, that's true. We didn't say that yet. Maybe. Look how uh, nice and well, not empty, but you know, it's everyone has their own space. Do you have any comments to add? Nice view. Wow. <laughs> We're waiting for the um, sun to go down so we can show you the nightlife. Mm -hmm. Night. Nightlife. Night light. Lights. Cool. Carlton dancing. Man, it's chilly up here. Yeah, but it's worth it. <laughs> Ooh, the hair's crazy. <gasps> oh, I'm cold. <laughs> 
Time to head out. Jordan Station to uh, check out Temple Street Night Market. Hello, friend. Waffle place inside Temple Street, which is right in here. This is literally my favorite. I miss this so much. We just got some bubble waffles, and uh, if you buy a drink with it, you get a four dollar discount. So, yeah, got a little bit of both. Oh my god, so good. Is it soft on the inside? It's like mushy, it's this like one? mochi. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh god. Girl, I miss this so much. I would eat this every day. Wash it down with some uh, lemon tea. I think we found the um, the bright spot of Temple Street still. Even though the shops are kind of closed, but the food life is still popping. Waiting for a table. Look at the menu item. Go this way. Prices are decent, right? In places like this, you always gotta rinse your own glassware. This looks so good. Yeah, fried noodles with beef. Another Hong Kong staple. I really wish the camera could hear me. I don't know if they can. Looks like passing you to me. So good. I love it. Delicious. Second dish is here, and this is our uh, clay pot rice. That's hot. <laughs> this is how Temple Street looks in 2022. As you can see, many of these slots are sitting vacant there's not too many tents up and for the shops that are, are up honestly there's not too many customers looking i've never been here before but from what i heard this is like a shell of what it used to be before covid It's late. We've uh, taken 23,000 steps today. We took the ferry. We did a hike. And um, I think we've been calling it nights. <laughs>